Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at this question right here, and we are going to answer it together, but you might want to pause the video and try it on your own first. Okay, so we're told that there's an x value, and it's increasing from 0 to pi over 2, and we want to know what's going to happen to this graph right here. So what we'll first do is quickly analyze it on the graphing calculator, and then show how you can actually quickly answer this without the graphing calculator. So to get to this window you see, I press y equals, I typed in, I'll just retype it, 2 times the tangent of x. Now when you graph it, you'll see something like this. you see repeating cycles of the tangent wave. And sometimes it's nice to press zoom and you can go to choice 6, which is a standard, or 7, which is for trig. And in this case, as we go from 0 to pi over 2, you can estimate pi over 2 is about 3.14 divided by 2, which is equal to 1.57. So you could look on the graph to see what happens to x as you go from 0 to 1.57. Here we're climbing x is 1.02. You can see 1.25, 1.31, and the y value is going up and up and up here. And you get a sense that there it jumps once we cross pi over 2. You can see that. It's hard to tell here. I'm off the graph. But you see those y values. We reach 163. That's quite the climb, actually, right? Tangent is that height. And that's what we're looking at here. So what's going on? Well, one way to think about this is if you kind of imagine, do a rough sketch. Here's a y and x axis. Here is a unit circle. Now, from 0 to pi over 2 is this interval here. And we can explore sine and cosine and tangent by looking at what are called the terminal points, which are the points on the circle. And this will make a unit circle, so the radius is 1. That's 1, and that's 1 right there. And usually some standard points put pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. And that's, <laughs> that should be evenly spaced. And you might remember from the unit circle, you can set these points up really quick. Here's a little trick. They're all fractions. So we're just going to set those up. They're all over 2. And then the numerators go 1, 2, 3. And then backwards, 1, 2, 3. We then square root up everything up top. The square roots of 1, I don't need those. And what's going on here? Well, the tangent of different angle values or values in general is the sine of those values over the cosine of those values. So when we look at the unit circle, for example, let's say we're at pi over 6, which is this little angle right here. Well, you might remember that the sine is the y value, 1 half, and then radical 3 over 2 is the cosine. Well, tangent is the ratio of those two. And I'm going to write it over here. That's 1 over radical 3. And you can work that out. Try 1 half divided by radical 3 over 2. And that's also 1 divided by the square root of 3, it's about 0.57. Over here, the tangent goes up to 1 because um, the radical 2 over 2 divided by itself is just 1. Now, that's at pi over 4, or 45 degrees. And then we go to pi over 3, which is 60 degrees. So we're climbing up. The tangent over here is radical 3. And you could test that. All I did was the sine value, radical 3 over 2 divided by a half. And if you do radical 3, not the natural log, excuse me, radical 3, we get 1.73. Tangent's going up. Now, tangent actually starts down here at 0, right? The height of that point is at 0, so it's just 0 for tangent. And then it reaches pi over 2, an undefined value, because this point, it is uh, 0, 1, whereas this is 1, 0. Now, 0, 1, we take the sine, 1, divided by cosine, 0, that's undefined. But as tangent gets closer and closer and closer, if you think about the sine and cosine, right, sine is the height of these points, and those heights are going up and up and up as we approach pi over 2. The cosine starts large at 1, but then decreases. Cosine is the x value. Cosine is decreasing as we go. So in general, the numerator is going up, the denominator is going down, and tangent is that ratio. This number is going to get higher and higher and higher until it's undefined when cosine of x is 0. And that's why, that's why the answer is choice 3. All right, I hope that helped.